from Canada, where the colorful corpses of dead leaves are soon to be littering our streets. It's me, Ed the Sock, Liz, coming to you from the Toronto HQ of Pigeon Road. Whoops. And there we go. Here it is. Here, can you tell something special is happening today? Something, can you tell what it is? Can you tell? It's a bar mitzvah. Yeah, there you go. All right, hey, how you doing? It's me, Ed the Sock. Thank you for joining us here on, uh, on our program. Uh, tonight, yes, it is a, uh, a special night because uh, uh, Ma Max's birthday was last week, but we weren't on last week. So we promised Max we're going to do his birthday this week. And uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Max. Hey, Max. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Good to see you all. There's Max. And uh, we're glad to have you here, Max. Uh, glad to have you as part of our family here. And uh, we're not going to ask how old you are because the lady never tells. Um, but we're glad to have you here. And we have, we've got decorations, as you can tell. Uh, look, decorations. Look, there's like one over there. Really? And no, there's show, show the sign in front of me. One here. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is kind of an interesting sign. It's uh, Maxeltov. It's yeah. It's it's a Maxeltov sign. It's now Maxeltov. So there you go, Max. So is Max now Max L? That's his Kryptonian name. Yeah, Max L. Yeah, he's from Krypton. All right. So uh, and also in the background, you might see hanging there is a pinata. Max is gonna hit the pinata later. Oh, uh, did we tell you that, Max? No. I did see the pinata. But it looks like I am gonna. You're gonna take a time. whack at it later. Yes. But because you've had a lousy week, you don't have to put the mask on. You can just hit it. We also Sound didn't good? plan how we were going to do the cake, so this should be kind of awesome. Yeah, I, I don't know how we're going to do the cake. Uh, well, we got to figure that out. I'll, we'll, we'll just have to leave the camera and I'll so, do the cake. Let's okay, cut. so uh, yeah. topics we're going to have tonight include um, a steamy. <laughs> like going to talk about a steamy very briefly. <laughs> going to talk about uh, the issue of is it rude to speak a foreign language in front of people who only speak English? And we want your chat in, uh, opinions on that. Uh, also going to talk about the seven-year-old Aboriginal girl. Uh, who refused to uh, wear her team's jersey because it has like the Chicago Blackhawks type native guy on it. So now she's not able to play hockey this year. Uh, and uh, possibly a bit about Angela Merkel getting hit with tomatoes. Uh, and other things that you guys may want to bring up. But mainly tonight we're here to celebrate Max. Yay! Woo! Woo! Okay, so you want to go get the cake? Now? Do the cake now. It says at the end. No, it, what? Should we? It says at the end. Well, I don't have a rundown. I don't know. It says at the end, happy birthday. Oh, no, it does say bring a cake. You see? <laughs> okay, so I should get the cake? Go get the cake. Light the candles now? Yeah. All right. No, okay. bring the cake, and after we eat it, we'll so, light the candles. No, light the candles first, and then carry it over, and you say, why do you not know the basics Ceremonial. of human interaction, Sock? I, I, oh, yeah, I'm the guy with the problem. Anyway, we do want to have you on chat. Are going to sing happy birthday? Y yes, we're going to sing happy birthday. Okay. Uh, so, on chat, join us, uh, and ask, and join the conversation, send uh, birthday wishes to our friend Max, and uh, also join in the conversation, because we do want to have your participation. We do want to hear what you have to say, even though there's a, a good chance most of you are idiots. Um, it, it, there's going to be a diamond in the rough who might make a point that isn't completely ridiculous. So, and also, speaking of points that are completely ridiculous, Lonnie is not here tonight. Um, <laughs> He, uh, he said that he's got a client on the ice, so any time now we should be seeing on his Facebook a picture of him with a dental appliance in his mouth. Uh, Just like last time he claimed that he had a guest on the ice and then went to some dentist or something. Um, so Lonnie's not here tonight. Anthony will be filling in, uh, doing what, uh, what Lonnie normally does. And of course, the invisible Raya is here, uh, always to provide uh, comfort and aid from off camera. Uh, we, should do a, we should do like a contest. People should draw what they think you look like. We should yes. yeah, yeah, draw what you think. We'll do that one week. We'll do a contest. Draw what you think Raya looks like. All right. Um, now, sometimes, though, you sneak it in the background, so maybe some people would know. But that's a bonus for people who have been here watching for a while. How, how long does it take to light a cake? The sparkler was sparkler. not cooperating. Okay. Here, here, here. Here, okay. All right. You got, you got the cake? We got it. We got it. All right. Here we go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Max. Happy birthday to you. In a minute, Yay! Look at 
Yeah, let's Woo. see the cake. Liana made this cake, Max, for you. I was up till five in the morning. She Whoa, made this cake. It's sh- shaped like a record because yes. you are a musician. And he said he wanted vanilla. Yeah, yeah. so it is vanilla cake underneath the icing. It's old-fashioned vanilla as well. Yeah, so made cool. to order. Very sweet. Very, very, very did you, make, you made a good wish? Yes, I Don't, wish I, I need a new place to stay. Yeah, not stay, a place to live. A place to live so I can stay. I got it until October the 2nd. Yeah, we're... I even, I even came up with a song in case we couldn't sing Happy Birthday. And what was that? Because it's kind of a Happy Days theme. Yeah. It was like Sunday, Monday, Maxi Days. Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 Maxi Days. Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Maxi <laughs> Days. Saturday, what a day. Like it's, the Happy Days theme? Yeah, but it sounds like a tampon ad. Maxi Sunday. Days. Thanks for ruining it, Adam. Yeah, Maxi Days. days. Sounds like a, a, I can go swimming and horseback yeah. riding. And it, yeah, that's right. It's, it's Maxi Days. <laughs> it's Max's Red Stripe Day. There you go. So I hope you're, hope you're happy, Max. I am happy. Good. Yeah, glad plates. to have you. What do you want? We have plates. Yeah, there's plates. Where's the plates? Where the plates are. That's where the plates are. Hey, I paid good money to see Max go face first into that kick. <laughs> no, All right. thank you. Dive in, bud. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're uh, we're we're gonna play we're gonna play pinata later with Max. We got a stick. We got a pinata. It's filled with candy. And Max will uh, beat the living daylights out of it later. And also hey, today, where are the plates. The plates are where the plates go. Oh, I see them. Tell me anything. I see them. Look, they're over here. Look at this. Plates. Look at all these plates. Look. Oh. There. I didn't realize the plate hey. place was by the sixteen kinds of meal bars. We have 16 kinds of nail bars? Yeah. No, we don't. Pigeon Road does. We don't eat their food. Mm. We'll we get kicked forks. out. It's all we need. Mm. Yeah, there's Pigeon forks. Bars. You know where the forks are? Where the plates the were. Place. Yeah. The dog guys right. over here. So we have 16 yeah. kinds of pigeon bars then. This is a fascinating television. Um, <laughs> all right. This is as the crew tries to figure out where to get appliances and stuff from for the cake. Uh, well, it, what's the flavor, Leanne? What's the flavor of the icing? Max wanted the, the icing. But the it's icing is vanilla? the icing is gray. But that's just coloring. That's gray vanilla. It doesn't taste like gray. It tastes like vanilla. It tastes like vanilla. That's just like, that's. Is that like blue vanilla. raspberry? That kind of bullshit. Is Color that, that shouldn't flavor? be what it is. Is it like gray matter? Ash. Yeah. All right. It's, the, it's flavored with the souls that gingers eat. Shut up, all of you. All right. Is it a neural peptide cake with mint frosting? Yes. Yes. It's right. meth flavored. Max, oh. are you getting some? Uh, are you getting? Things are about to get. Really you getting some birthday uh, greetings the there, Max? Oh yeah, I got plenty of those. Yeah, lots of people happy wishing you a happy birthday. Sean by Sean Mooney. Yeah. And you should see this video. Share it. Uh, lots of people are just. So you got a lot of friends out there, Max. Yes. Lots of people care about you. I eat food. Shane Cohen. Um, we uh, also got you a present. I'm coming in on the Thanks. right here, Max. All right. You don't seem too thrilled about that Max, possibility. Look at this. There you oh, go, Max gorgeous. gets the first piece. Isn't this beautiful? Let's take a look at this. Yeah, wow. Look at the layer. Look at that. Look at oh that. Oh, my God. This is lovely. I'm going to put my stripe. mouth right through it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's, it's very beautiful. nice. All of a sudden, go. it's like a foodie Before? show. Oh, here my you go. goodness. Over here. Just here you go. Anthony's look at that serious color. Serious cake foodie. Look at that color. All right. Sean Rudy liked my neuropeptide cake. Of course he did. Who else is having a giant piece of well, I can't have any now because I'm doing a show. Okay. Nick, sure. Give it to Nick. Should we uh, keep it with a long tradition in, of eating on air? Yeah, Invisible <laughs> Raya can have a piece. Okay. okay. I'm send a piece on for Giada, too. Oh, absolutely. All I'm right. I'm watching right now being like, yeah, oh, okay. Isn't this great? We've got this intellect, uh, in, uh, this, this international ability to communicate with each other, and we've just made a home birthday movie. That's a great, well, I guess it's uh, an alternative from kittens and porn. Um, <laughs> Now, okay. 20 uh, years from now, we can watch this on VHS with the family. Now, uh, Anthony, you see the box there in front of you? This one here? Yeah. yeah. Did you bring that over to Max? Yeah. How many more pieces do we need? Who wants cake? Split that in half. Uh, okay, Max, mm-hmm. we've got a, we'll let you finish chewing there, and then uh, we got a present for you. I got you a present. Look at this. Cool. Here it is. Here it is. Happy birthday. From oh, thank you so much. Open it up. I'm taking credit. There you go, Max. Wow. Oh, Unboxing. What? Now, Max, what this is... Is that is an original Ed the Sock baseball hat from the old Chum City store? Oh. Woo! Okay. Woo! Now it is nice. it is that is the last what last one of two that exist with that design on it. Where I'm not wearing clothes, you see that I'll get yeah. it close. That is the, la- the one of two. So you've got the last one. Oh, there's only one other one in existence that uh, the, of that hat. Max, and, look directly wow. at the, the camera there. Yeah, look. You're looking over at me. No, look, look at look at me. 
Look at this camera, yeah. yeah. Look at that. You there told you go. him to look at the other camera. Wow, look at right. this hat. I'm going to wear this with the whole And wait, you can see the other thing. You got it. Should I? Okay. You got an Ed puppet. My own puppet. Ed yeah, puppet. then that is also oh, that is a uh, that is also a rare and still got the uh, the the Chum City uh, tags on it uh, from the Chum City store. It is one of the originals. Uh, there are four more of those in existence. So uh, you've got some rare stuff there. So I hope to see you on eBay soon. Um, so uh, and we'll I'll sign it up for you later. Okay. Okay. So you take those, and that's always a, re a reminder of uh, that you're part of our family here. Well, thank you very all much. Right, all right. All right. How about a hand for Max? Booyaka! Well, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. I have to say, it's been a well few few days for me. I mean, my mom is almost near death, almost, and I really want to thank the people on Facebook for your your sweet condolences. And I got to see her yesterday, and just letting her know that I love her and. She's been very supportive of my involvement in the live music scene, and I know that one day I will make the big time one day. Hopefully with this this network, I will make it there. All right. I hope God, Lord willing. Yeah, there you go. How about yeah, a hand for Max? Cheers. And, uh, Max, we, uh, we, uh, I understand that, uh, that your mom is, is critically ill, and we offered to not do the show tonight, and you said, no, nope, you wanted to come in and be amongst your friends and family, and so here we are. Um, but, uh, you know, raise a glass at home in honor of uh, Max's mom, uh, who uh, did a good job raising this fella. All right? So we're going to have a, a hand for uh, Max's mom. Love you, mama. Speaking of glasses, do we have drinks? Yeah, there's drinks. You know where the drinks are? In the in, drink place? In the drink place. In the they're, in the, box over they're in the fridge. They're, they're next to the, the 16 fridge. types of pigeon bars. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, wait, why are you over there? Why am I over there? Who is running, who's running the show if you're over there? Nobody. This is like when you're in a plane and you see the pilot and the co-pilot walk <laughs> yeah. past you towards the back. You're like, Are wait, them? who's flying? That yeah, that's no. them. You bought ginger ale and root beer? Yeah. I know Max likes ginger ale, but you only bought root beer? Yeah. Who doesn't love root beer? Yeah, who doesn't like root beer? Yeah, but there's water for you. Where's the water? It's in Bo's dish. Aww. Aww. We poured a little in there just to freshen it up, let it air out. That's on the player haters' ball right there. That was terrible. That was awful. All right. That was a dude. Honestly, like, why are you? Who's directing the show? Because Max doesn't have anything to drink. It's like on cruise control. There's nobody in charge. Who's flying the plane? This is what happened when the Titanic hit the iceberg. This show is on cruise control at yeah. the best of times. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, when it, if it's on cruise control, it's going more smoothly than usual. <laughs> This is like All right. the, we're still on the air. We're doing well. Yeah. Kayla oh. Reeves is at the wheel. We're doing 50 miles an hour. We're fine. <laughs> Just let her. Uh, Sean Weed Hat's ghost is. Sandra there. Bullock's looking pained. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Keep her above 55. This is about the time in the show when I question why I got up today. No. This is about the time in the show where we've seen that train wreck happen a couple times. I already did a lumberjack. There was already a lumberjack? There was already a lumberjack. Oh, God. Anthony. Since you're not doing a whole hell of a lot, why the hell aren't you doing what Leanna's doing? Okay, why the hell? Well, I was thinking about the birthday. Oh, yeah, here, Anthony. You give... don't need anything. You haven't called for anything. Okay, get, I can't call for anything because you're not there. I was going to come over if you needed oh, something. Oh, for crying out loud. The birthday boy needs his sack. Anthony, give, uh, give uh, the, the birthday boy his, his gear. We're going to dress you up here. We Max, we've got some stuff for you here. Here's a sash. Here you go. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Here you go. Are you going to throw that on? Okay. Give me an arm. There we go. Look at this. I've never been in the pageant before, but this is what this There you go. Good. It's the Miss Max pageant, and you're the winner. <laughs> Good thing about this pageant is Donald Trump can't come backstage and yes. look at you in a bikini. Clearly All right. wasn't talent content. All right. You did a good job there, uh, Anthony. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. How background. short was your bus? Um, <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay, we got this streamer this? thing. Well, if you blow on it, how's he going to use it? Mm. Okay, you didn't think that through. My germs. Yeah, Here okay. And give him the hat. Okay. Here comes the hat. You want to put, you can do two hats or one hat? No, just one hat would be good. One hat. Okay, so you don't, you don't want the uh, birthday hat? You want Thank hat? you. No hat? Okay. Give that to Leanna. She'll wear it. Leanna, happy I birthday. like hats. She likes silly hats. All right. Then we have some, uh, we have some Mardi Gras style beads. Wow. We there go. you go. You don't have to show us your boobs or anything. Perfect. All right. This is going to get interesting fast. And then okay. This, pin that on yourself if you'd like. 
Oh yeah, what is that? It's a. Uh, I'm afraid of stabbing. Happy me. birthday to I'm me is what it says. Me. It's a little. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's, uh, that's all good. That's real sweet. I'll put that in the box. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was all a right. nice thing to say. Max doesn't like the button. That's right. Okay. And now we notice that Nick is no longer here. Um, okay. It's musical chairs tonight. People yeah. just disappear from their spot and then return. Everybody else got some exercise. I figured I'd go scratch. We are on the air and we have sound and picture. Why are you complaining? All right. So uh, tonight also in honor of Max, we're going to play both of the Hinterland Who's Who updates that he did. Yes. And uh, in fact, uh, when we come back after this break, we're going to talk about issues. So uh, join us on the chat. What? Break? Oh, the chipmunks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not a break. What? That's still content. You say break, people leave. Don't say break. All right, after this Hinterland Who's Who update, uh, we'll be back to talk about issues uh, here amongst us and amongst you on the chat. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you may have seen this a couple weeks ago. It was such a hit, we have to bring it back. It's the, the classic Hinterland Who's Who, but as updated and voiced by our very own birthday boy, Max Brand. This is Chipmunks, right? Let's take a look. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, there good job, go. Max. Right. Nice job. Oh. All right. So now it's time to turn it over to, to the chat mode of the program. And if you're watching us live right now, you can join in the chat. Facebook uh, uh, dot, dot com slash Ed the Saw. Why am I telling them that? Because if they're not watching, they're if they're not watching this, then they're not <laughs> yeah, hearing yeah. me tell them where to Every, find it. Everybody watching right now, share this video. Yeah, yeah. share the video. Share it up now. Let's start talking about issues that get, people's, uh, get people upset. And coming up soon, uh, Max is going to whack a piñata. Uh, so stick around for that. That was supposed that. to happen now. I changed my mind. Okay. Sean. I do that. Just Sean. like you decide to get up and walk away from the control panel, I get to... No, I, no, no don't do it again. Sean Rooney said, so many acid flashbacks from this. That's a compliment coming from Wow, that's great. I like to inspire yeah. acid flashbacks. That's high praise coming from Sean Rooney. All right. Thanks, Sean. Thank okay. You, Sean. Anybody have any nom flashbacks while you're at it? Any uh, of that? I'm getting a lot of shared, 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 shared. People are sharing this as instructed. Oh, all right. So and while I'm giving instructions, yeah, patreon.com, add the sock live. Uh, help us out by uh, giving us a few bucks. It comes out monthly. Help us uh, keep going and building so we can have more birthday parties. Um, and, and also, if you're watching on YouTube, which means it's not live, but you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Because I know most of the audience, they just like to watch and then they just go off and do whatever they're going to do. But you got to hit subscribe. You're not going to get uh, solicited by a Nigerian prince. You're not going to get spam about increasing your, your ejaculate or things like that. Uh, you're not going to get all that kind of crap. Increasing your ejaculate? Have you never are seen they that? Going to I get? thought it was just size, but amount? Oh no, there was a, there was a thing wow. around for a while. It was something like 381%. How much, how much do you need? That's, I, I don't understand why you got to fertilize a lawn. Well, I don't understand why that was. Like, Ed, the nurse at the, uh, yeah, anyway. And what do they get? When they subscribe? Yeah. All you get is a little email that tells you when I've got a new video up. But you're going to be putting up different types of videos on the YouTube channel, right? Like yes. Like it's not just the same content as Facebook. That's right. The okay. YouTube channel is going to get stuff that you don't even see on Facebook and won't. You have so, to tell them what's in it for them or they don't bother clicking the internets three times. All right. Well, now, now I'm schooled. Okay. Um, let's go to our first topic. All right. Now this is an interesting one. Are we gonna go to Steamy first? 
This was a stupid topic that Anthony <laughs> suggested. It's this a great is topic. dumb. Anthony's like, well, I asked for topics, and he says, why don't we talk about steamies? And I'm like, what, are you in Cleveland? Well, no. <laughs> That's the problem is I could go to Cleveland, but there's none in Toronto. I can't find a decent Very one. Very different thing. Yeah, Very steamy. Thing. I, I, I don't think we're used to that word in Toronto. In Toronto, a steamy is something you leave on the doorstep of Giada's salon, apparently. Yes. Uh, once. It's called the shit poo. In Tor- <laughs> I think in Toronto it's referred to as a hot lunch. I thought a steamy was pink. What are we talking about now, the hot dog or the, uh, or the Cleveland steamer? The steamy or the hot lunch. Or the... Uh, now I'm confused. I thought you confused Cleveland... yourself. I'm not even listening to you. I thought a Cleveland steamer was pooping in someone's mouth. No, no it's <laughs> dropping it on their chest. Hot lunch dropping is, yeah, it on their chest. Their so chest. what's it called when you poop it in their mouth? Disgusting. Yeah, unless, uh, two girls, one cup. Is that like assed mouth? Or is that like Why are you action? discussing this? Well, for people Can we not keep know, this thing a little bit okay. classier? Ed, this is the internet, okay? It's not television. People watch from all around the world. You can't assume somebody knows what a Cleveland steamer is. Yeah, but they have the internet. Look it up, but don't hit image search. Yeah. You don't you don't, don't ask, hit yeah, image you, search. You don't ask people to search this search. Your appetite won't be ruined as quick. So, but apparently a steamy is a hot dog that is made in boiled water? It's a little steamed hot dog. It's like the kind of cheap ones that you would get at the store, you know? The sort of like, maybe this big ones. And then they steam the bun, and they steam the wiener, and then they put all kinds of uh, beautiful toppings on it, and you eat them, they're just like, mm, 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 these little, little steam. You don't have to, it's not like this, where you're sort of, you know, working towards trying to... That's something else. That's yeah, something yeah, else. I think we've all seen that <laughs> movie, seen that movie before. Yeah. <laughs> You don't like look you like just, a junior to me. You know, you pop them in and you have a good time and everyone's uh, better for it. All right, so apparently these are... Uh, but hot dogs, like you get hot dogs here from the, the hot dog vendors that are boiled. Well, but they grill them. They boil them to keep them warm and they sort of sous vide them, but then they grill them and cut them open and it's just sort of a large situation. So you like hot dogs boiled as opposed to properly grilled? I like something that they'll just melt in your mouth and you get a sense of the toppings. So do you else. like something that you can hold like this that melts in your mouth? Well, you just that pop you it just... in. You just pop it in is what you do. You have two or three of them and it's an event. Can I use Steam the Weenie as a band name? Please do. Awesome. Is it a cover <laughs> band or a tribute? <laughs> Well, I'll be a tribute for sure. All right, so the issue was, Anthony wanted to talk about why you can't get a good steamy in Toronto, and I think that's a dumb topic, and this discussion has just proven me right. If you go to church, you can get a good steamy. Oh. No, 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 there's a, there's a Harvey's, and they have the best hot dogs. That's only after 9 p.m., though. See, I think you can go to any hot dog. Oh, the Hooker Harvey. Harvey's? Yeah, the, Hooker Harvey's. Yeah. the Hooker Harvey's? They got good steamy. Everyone knows the Hooker Harvey's. I think you can go to any hot dog cart in the city, say, just don't grill the hot dog, and yeah, it's a steamed hot you're dog. you're right, but it's the size. So the size that counts. This was a complete well, but, waste but of everybody's it, life. It, no, wait, isn't there this a hot dog dumb. cart? More See, more I always get the hard. veggie ones, so those tend to be smaller anyway. But the problem, what I'm saying here is that the, the crux of the, the crux of this argument is that it's about the bun. The bun is never properly steamed. It's either grilled or a little bit stale. When you get the steamed bun, everything is just that perfect Do we have a picture of what he sent us earlier? You oh, what? Anthony, like you spoiled first world millennial. Your buns aren't good enough. Well, people, there's people that don't have enough food to eat, and you know, people, there's, there, there's hurricanes and stuff displacing people, and you're not happy with the buns on your hot dog. You spoiled, ungrateful. I threw, I threw my coin in the fountain. You picked it out, and we're talking about it. I, I don't hey. know. Yeah, like, it's true. He did get his content on the show. Yeah, All right, I, Max. What are people saying on the chat, Max? Let's go. What they're saying on the chat. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Look at that picture. It's all onion. There's no dog there. Oh, What's going on there? Buddy? You you yeah. do see though that the bun is steamed. Oh, it's, it's not like toasted. Perfect, it's like a bow, but like a pre. Will you all shut up? I'm talking to Max. Sorry. Well, let me see here. Looking at all the chats. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a hard thing to get through. It's about my mom. Oh, it's not about the hot dogs. No. Dez says his inner eight-year-old is happy. And his fam. Yeah. By Dez. Sweet gift and love, love to Max and how's the cake, Liana? Thoughts out to Max, yep. All right. So you're getting a lot of love there? Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Liana, what are you doing with that hat? I'm trying to get my hat. In the, the right place. Hilarious angle. Okay, is here really is awesome. another topic. We're gonna move on to something with a little bit more meat to it. Oh! Well, that was a pun. I didn't even mean it. Yeah. All right. So this is a story. That's three times in like five minutes. Yeah, Cut it out. but it was appropriate three times. You have a in problem. Five All right. Uh, 
So this is a story that happened in a McDonald's in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, where the... Uh, uh, Raya, could you bring me that sheet of paper where I have my notes? It's there underneath all those uh, other ones. It's the bottom couple of pages there. Who's got their mic up, their phone up? Turn your phone off. You see the stories there? Yep. I got it right here, Ed. All right. Okay. Thank you, Raya. Uh, McDonald's apologizes for insensitive notice demanding staff speak only English. Now, what happened here is that uh, there was a notice that went up over, like, Labor Day, uh, an unsigned manager's letter that says, if you read it there, when you are clocked in, you are expected to speak English at all times. There will be few circumstances... You can see how that was spelled. Where it will be permitted, but 99% of the time you should be speaking English. It added that any staff who really need to talk in another language should go sit in the lobby. Uh, this is to be mindful of people who have no idea what you're talking about and will reduce uncomfortability. Uncomfortability. Oh, Shakespeare invented words. This guy's a, a bard uh, around other crew. And according to the letter, our first offense would be a warning, while continued offenses, you know, speaking another language, would result in the loss of employee meal discount for 24 hours, a oh. written warning, and possibly employee being suspended or fired. It cites a climbing number of complaints from customers about staff not Wait, speaking English. This is in Canada? This is Yellowknife. That's Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this illegal? Yeah, well, the, uh, the guy, uh, the franchise uh, guy, uh, heard about this and uh, put another letter up apologizing for the whole thing. Uh, saying that, you know, this is obviously it's not acceptable, blah, blah, blah. And uh, here's, the, here's the thing, though. As much, that, does everyone agree that this is kind of a racist thing to say? I don't think it's racist. I think it's ignorant. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's really two sides of the story. Part of it is, you know, the guy was really rude for putting that out there. But the other thing is, we don't know the extent or the circumstance or what was said in that other language. And so there's kind of this thing like, you know, I don't mind when people are speaking other languages around me, but if they're speaking other languages and snickering and stuff like that, especially during like work, and you don't know if they're talking about anything work related or not. It could be a distraction. There could be a distraction. There could be something going on. They could be talking shit behind your back. You don't know. And for that reason, yeah, maybe they should keep that chatter to themselves or at a more appropriate time for that. Yeah, but, but officially, who, who it should be English or French. Those are the but two to speak acceptable another language isn't languages in racist. Canada. Uh, it's just well, language isn't just, a race. It's just arrogant, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is it prejudice? Is it bigoted? Is really. it bigoted? Anyone here feel that it's bigoted? I do. All right, Leanna, do you disagree with Nick? Well, it's in Yellowknife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry, was, um, that gas was a little too loud. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's in Yellowknife, which means you're on, you know, an area where indigenous issues are kind of a thing, and it's a big screw you, we colonized you, and now you're speaking our language thing. It, it is an issue. What language were they speaking, though? Well, it would be a uh, Inuit dialect. Who knows what they were it? speaking? Here's the thing. This is what I don't know. When I, first, when I first read this, I thought, this guy's a bigot, telling, the, telling staff, speak English or else, or else you may get fired. I and just if you think you talk, they were trash-talking him. And if you, possibly, if you want to talk uh, in another language, go, go in the lobby, disappear. At first I looked at this uh, in the way that it was kind of reported, which is, how horrifying. This is a terrible thing, we're not being, it's not inclusive, it, it, it's bigoted, it's not what Canada is. And then I thought further about it and thought, how inclusive is it when people start to speak a language you don't understand right in front of you? And uh, that's what I don't like it. I think that there's nothing wrong with speaking another language, but when you're with a group of people and they only speak English and they're like a couple of them start breaking into another language, that's like whispering behind your back in front of you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's like, it's like, that's just sort of a rude thing. It's like all of a sudden excluding everyone else from the group and talking amongst yourselves, and that's rude. That isn't inclusive. I mean, if you're just a group of people getting together and you all speak the language, no problem. The, the, the thing is just people need to be able to understand each other, and I always hate when people start talking in a language so that we don't, the whole point is the rest of us don't understand, and so exactly. you start to wonder, what are they saying that they don't want us to hear? Uh, if it's followed by a laugh, then you get wondering, and if it's not followed by a laugh, you're wondering, what serious things are they saying? 
Now, I don't think you should be fired from a job for it, but this is an issue. And I'm wondering, uh, Anthony, what are people saying? First, we'll go to Leanna, but you check out the chat, see what they say. Leanna. Is uh, this a good time to remind you that I suggested you explain terms like, like idioms, like Cleveland Steamer, and you mocked me for it? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Well, because I'm pointing out that not everybody speaks English as a first language, nor are they our North American. And you were like, I don't care, but it's the same point. <laughs> it's rude to be talking in a way that people don't understand. Kind of when you start going on about 70s TV shows that I've never seen before and I have no idea what you're talking about. Learn talk culture. For 25 minutes. Learn culture. You're being a hypocrite, Ed. What the hell are you talking about? You're being a hypocrite. No, if I'm talking about 70s TV shows, it's something that somebody can access well, through, can through, you, so take through that. Google. Eat you weenus. know, you can look it up. Eat YouTube. Weenus. You can always find what I'm talking Is that about. Because I'm, I'm not saying something that you don't understand or that I'm intent, attempting to exclude you. Are you pay attention? I'm not no, trying to. We're having a conversation. I'm not trying You're to exclude somebody when I talk we're about in the, the the TV series we're Lucan about the weenus, wolf but... boy who was brought into civilization. See, I don't Lu it's Lucan. He okay. was a boy who was raised in the wild by wolves, and then he uh, was re-civilized, but he every now and again would get into action where he would get in touch with his inner wolf. Max, have you seen the show? Do you know what he's talking about? Lucan? Yeah. Never, never saw it. See? You're excluding Max. Well, no. This is the kind of thing where it's not exclusionary, where I am sharing with you cultural points that you can then go and look up. Why are you colonizing us with 70s TV, Ed? Do you see what I have to deal with? Nonsense like this. Steamies and colonizers. I, I, I don't get any reference before Flight of the Navigator, so. I love that. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> leak? I don't see no leak. You see? But people who were born 20 years later wouldn't understand. It's like, should I, I not should. Rickrolled this week. That's a bit of a reference. Should, should I not talk about Shakespeare? Or Beethoven, well, because it no. occurred a long time ago. Some we did talk no. about Shakespeare with that poorly written uh, uh, yes. officer's note. Yeah, thank you for that. I was speaking rhetorically. How do we know that? Oh. Speaking rhetorically <laughs> excludes us, Ed. You're being exclusionary. You know what? Shouldn't you be eating some of that cake? I was eating cake. Why don't you eat more of it now? Back. Eat some more of it now. No. Because you can't talk while you're eating cake. Don't want to. All right. See, I, I grew up in an area where I, I got used to hearing a lot of different languages spoken, and it's part because I was an ESL tutor, and so there were nine kids in the class that spoke either some form of, you know, Arabic dialect or um, a uh, Indian uh or, you know, Sri Lankan dialect or something like that. And yeah, but that's, that's the context of the class was ESL. Everybody but, knew the people who were there were learning English as a second language. It's not when you're hanging out with six friends and two of them all of a sudden start speaking a language you don't understand okay, but I right don't in the think, middle of you having a conversation. I don't that's think, rude. I don't think that's the situation of a place like Yellowknife, though. I mean, it does have a defined indigenous population in that region. And so that is their culture. They were there first. They should be able to speak their damn language so in if, that context. What if it wasn't Inuit that they were speaking? What if they were speaking Mandarin? Or what if they were speaking French? Then more power to them surviving the Yellowknife winter. <laughs> Portuguese, like. All right, Anthony. Anthony's wa waving his arm. Adam Fistlock Horwood. <clears throat> For some folks, speaking English requires effort. While speaking their own conveys the idea faster. Mm -hmm. This is kind of useful when working in a fast-paced but low-pay job like McDee's. Beyond the practical reasons, there's a form of relief, reaffirmation of culture when one speaks their native tongue. This should not be penalized, but celebrated. That was possibly the smartest comment we've ever gotten. What's going on? Fistla Corwin, Adam Fistla. I, I like the way you read it, like inside the actor's that studio. That was well done, yes, well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Now, I agree with his point about sometimes if you're in a, in a high-pressure situation and you want to get the idea across fast, I can understand that, especially if English isn't uh, a language you're really conversant in. I get that in that context. But when you're just hanging out with friends and you just drop into another language, there's no excuse for that. I'm He's just rude. trying to I'm exclude just people. I'm McDonald's has anybody hired that is smart enough to know more than one language because they can never get a fucking order right. Yeah. Oh, well, then, here we go back to Nick. Nick has an issue with every fast food restaurant on the planet. Actually, not everyone, and you know what? The one that I don't have a problem with, I don't go to, which is which is fucked up, just because they're they're too overpriced. But like, you can go to Tim Hortons, 
and a dollar thirty or fifty or whatever on a coffee, they'd fuck up a double double. You go to Starbucks, you pay six dollars for your coffee, you got like three hundred yeah. different options and like edits in it, and your order, and it's burn fucking the perfect. Coffee. Well, they still my Starbucks burns coffee. Yeah, coffee. no, that's just their and flavor. they oversweet it. Burnt garbage is what you're going for. It's Pretty garbage. much, that the coffee like, wars have begun. That's why I don't it's, go. But at least they don't fuck the order up. Fair enough. You do get your 100 yeah. percent burnt garbage. Yes. Yeah. Right. And this yeah, is guys. what Tim Hortons and Starbucks get for not sponsoring this yeah. program. Yeah, guys. By the way, 30 seconds spot. By the way, your product yeah. shit. You. You get if you're money. interested in sponsorship opportunities, guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, here, watch this. Hey, Nick, how do you like the way they cut the sandwiches at Subway? Don't even fucking get me That's started. a part of the steamy, though. The way they cut the dog is a part of the Montreal steamy. That's what I, not what I asked. Top I asked Nick dog about... Dog loader. Yeah, See, it is much like the Subway cut. A lot easier to eat. Yeah. The way that they cut the bun for Subway <laughs> now is like the fucking worst way possible because it's like a hoagie, not a sub. It holds less toppings and everything falls at the fucking side. You got to eat it like a hot dog. Pisses me off. When you go to Sub. Uh, a hot dog or a steamy. When you go to Mr. Sub, they just cut it in half, throw all your toppings on, they squish it on like a sandwich, and you're all good. Holds all the toppings, everything's great. See, I told you. It's like pressing oh, a button. Good, uh, <laughs> good uh, chat comment. What? What happens from Sean Rooney when geeks get together and start communicating using tech lingo and buzzwords, understand each other, but confuse everybody else around them? Also rude. That's another language. You should, if you're in mixed company and you're conversing with everybody, don't, if you want to break off physically and go off into your own little corner and talk, okay, that's fine. But if you're in a group of people and all of a sudden you start talking about something that nobody else understands, that's freaking rude. And you know what? I've seen, I've seen techies do it. I've seen uh, geeks do it. And you know what? Like, okay, admittedly, I do not wish to be a part of that conversation. It's not like I feel care? excluded. But because I was just talking, we were just talking about something, and all of a sudden you break into your secret handshake co conversation. Well, so why the hell do you care if say Raya and I talk about MMORPGs? Well, you it know? depends. Are we sitting here, all of us talking? No, and then the we're just setting up, and we're having a conversation, kind of like slinging fries. Well, that's fine then. Are you talking about it in French? See? We. Here's what you're not. Here's what you're not getting. If it's just you and Raya having the conversation, there's nothing wrong with it. Then why the hell do they care if two McDonald's grunts are speaking Swahili to each other while they're cooking over salt? Well, it could be that the uh, the person, the customer, thinks that they're being laughed at. They may have very low self-esteem. I mean, they're oh, living in yellow Have you been into a McDonald's lately? What? Just, have you been into a McDonald's lately? They are so removed from the customers back where they're cooking the food What's now. What's a liter cola? It's a like, <laughs> like <laughs> there's yeah, there's yeah, no gonna way anyway, anybody's so. going to think that... I mean, I wonder when you go through the drive through whether they're talking about me to somebody else. They're just talking on the stinking intercom. Talking is... Fun. Well, in your case, they're saying check out the cleavage. Because yeah. from their angle... It's a good view. Okay, that's okay then. All right. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's move on to. Uh, nice. Are there any are there any more good uh, any more good chat comments? Oh, uh, Giotic Cavuto says Jimmy's coffee is the new coffee, Nick. Jimmy's coffee. It's Jimmy's. Fuck it. I'm just trying to railroad what the this segment. Why don't we have coffee? What? I'm just. Okay, Anthony, you read that comment because it's your wife, not because it added anything germane to the Giotic conversation. <laughs> That's all right, knows. I'm good with that. All right. I'm just, uh, Giada. I'm just gonna drink tea. Fuck it. I I have to be three times as sassy today because Giada's not here. I've got to keep y'all in line. All right. I think Hold down she the was floor. Nice dead because I feel like she would have an interesting perspective on the whole foreign language issue. Yeah, like great. We do the foreign language segment me. where it's the person really... who's you know, well. Wait like a second, a... Anthony. You uh, when you uh, went to Italy with yes. uh, with Giada. Yes. Uh, her family there was speaking all Italian. Bless you. Bless, Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. That was amazing. Whoa. Yes. Uh, you, her family was speaking Italian, yes. and you didn't understand. No. Now, did, do, they, do they speak English? There's a very, there's a couple, like her uncle and um, her sisters, but they're a little bit more bashful. However, I didn't. It's not really the same context because I was taking it as an opportunity to increase my uh, my worldliness, learn a new language. I just kind of sat down, shut up, and listened, and eventually you start to realize that they were, yes, indeed, talking shit about me the entire time. <laughs> so, uh, well, there you go. I just, as a general just rule... Cake over here. Yeah. I just, really? as a general rule, assume people are talking Look at this shit about me cake. because really I do internet cake. videos, and it's a safe bet. So I don't have this problem. I'd rather they talk shit about me in a language I don't understand because then I don't have to deal with it. 
All right, we'll let, let that be, uh, be the, uh, the, the finis on uh, that topic. Let's move on to another. Uh, the topic being, uh, this is a story uh, comes to us from Calgary, where a uh, young seven-year-old girl is going to be sitting out the season rather than playing for her team because she discovered the team's logo features a Native American man's head. You see there, it's the, the Chicago Blackhawks guy. Uh, is in North, the Northwest Warriors, and uh, she objected to it, said she's not going to wear the jersey, and so they're saying, well, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you can't play. If you're not going to wear the jersey, you can't play. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, she said that uh, a shirt is supposed to represent unity between people, uh, but this actually makes her feel singled out, because this is not a really flattering depiction of her culture. So, uh, opinions, thoughts. The, the, I think that it's amazing that this seven-year-old girl has mo more courage than hockey players who are paid millions of dollars who got no problem putting anything they want on a jersey as long as their check's clear. Um, and this brings, you know, brings it back to the whole discussion about whether these images are celebrating these cultures or lampooning them. Are they demeaning them? Uh, and uh, let's take some thoughts. We'll start with Nick. Okay, well... Uh, you pay that seven-year-old girl a million dollars, she'll probably wear the shirt. Yeah. But, so that's why hockey players don't give two shits. Uh, you they, notice Hooters waitresses don't complain about having to wear shorts in the winter? Yeah. Works for tips. Wait a second. Shorts is not the same thing as wearing something okay. that makes fun of it's, your own uh, culture. It's worse. All yeah. these women no. slinging chicken wings. It's a separate thing. Uh, no, no, no. It's it a is separate worse. thing. You know why? No. Because it is, those girls freeze in the winter. And for some odd reason, the management of that chain is allowed to make them wear short, they're allowed to wear sleeves now. But ah. they still have to wear those shorts in the winter. And they're sitting there, they're freezing Did on you? their breaks. But they do that without complaint. And this some is, kid- is, You are completely off topic. Okay. You're completely off topic. No, I'm not that off is, topic. Yes, that it is. is. on topic. That is a no. uniform out of place where people get paid. And no, no, it is not the same it. thing. And it is not something where somebody is, has, is for, being asked to wear a symbol that demeans their culture. Okay, why it is, is it not the same thing. Okay, okay conversation is, okay, ends. It's not the bad, same thing. This is bad journalism. Food, Why okay? is this bad journalism? Because it does not provide the W5H of the issue. And that is? It doesn't have the why. Why is this image offensive? It doesn't explain that to the reader. So if you don't know, you just have to take her word for it. There's no objective analysis about whether or not a picture of a, you know, item generally understood to be a Native American man is offensive. What is offensive about this image? Are we never allowed to run? Like, is the Hawk character on Twin Peaks offensive? Because Let me ask you something. He's, you know, there used to be a called out for his culture? To, if that was a picture of a black man, okay, with exaggerated uh, okay, uh, lips and so on, what's exaggerated? would that be considered okay? Okay, Chief Wahoo, I get, because it is exaggerated. But what is exaggerated on this image? Well, basically, uh, the Europeans came here, conquered the, the natives, uh, make, now they live in squalor, and hey, we're just going to put your, uh, your, your face on our shirts as well. So why it, not make it that every time somebody uses this image, you have to pay a royalty to the Blackhawk tribe? That has solved the problem. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. not going to happen. Let's but hear why from, not? Let's hear from Max. Max, what do you think? Is it wrong to have these... Uh, these uh, black, like these Indian symbols and so on on jerseys? Well, well, the girls play in, 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 in a league where people just play to enjoy themselves. And she felt that, that she did something that was courageous because um, this is offensive to her culture. So she has a reason she, she could sit out for the whole year. All and, right. All right. But what's up? But, okay. Devil's advocate. What is this teaching this girl? The minute you don't like something, quit? She, no, she's not quitting. They're telling her she can't play. No, she's choosing not to play because she won't wear a uniform. She's choosing not, What she's doing is saying, enough of this crap already. It's been going on for generations. Somebody's got to say enough. Okay, Somebody's got to stop and take is, a look at this. This, this is what I'm saying. This argument is actually really old, though, especially yeah. with this particular image in general. It's not the yeah. first time. I know. It's been going on for a while, like, but nobody ever does anything. It continues to be there and continues to have... Is this, a, is this uh, an image 
which actually honors like, uh, the, the native people. Well, see, I don't know. What's missing. See, this is what's missing. This Why is hard. this offensive? The, the, yeah. The, this oh, is, thank you, this, Nick. This image. What tribe are you from? Yeah, see, I don't feel like so, I can okay, say so, one way or the other so, whether this is fine, and the article doesn't tell me. This, so it's missing the, a component. This particular image, okay, that's a black hawk, okay? They, they're showing somebody or something or a depiction, somebody's depiction of a, a tribesman from the Black Hawks tribe, sure, whatever. The person may or may not have ever existed. All right, fine. The Washington Redskins, however, okay. that one. That's different. The Cleveland Indians, that image is a caricature. Yes. Right? Like, I can pull it up if you guys give me a second. But the that thing is, I totally is that get. Indian is kind of a, uh, a slur because they are native. So why is you the know? Boston Celtics not a slur? The Irish don't care. Because the Irish are too drunk to care. And that's a stereotype. And there, there we yes, go. Exactly. I hate St. Patrick's Day because of these stupid stereotypes, but I'm stuck. I'm like the only person in the damn pub who isn't forced to wear one of those green hats on St. Patrick's Day because freaking ginger, you know? But I'm supposed to be okay with the Boston Celtics while everybody's crying about the Chicago Blackhawks. The Cleveland Indians, I get. It's, you know. You know, I get, I get pissed off when it's a bunch of white people. Uh, liberal white people who say, you know what, this is offensive to natives or it's offensive to different groups. I hate when it's a bunch of white people speaking on behalf of, of minority groups. But in this case, it's actually a member of the group that is affected. So that has, as far as I'm concerned, that has more credibility than, than Nick saying that it's okay. Okay, I've got Chief Wahoo up for All right, let's take a look at Chief like, Wahoo. Okay, this is a caricature and the original was worse. I mean, oh, yeah. yikes. That's a terrible painting. Okay. That's like from like the 50s. That's meant to be racist. Yeah. Like this is not the same as this. But all of it is taking emblems of a culture that these people are not a part of. Yeah. So. In, in Calgary? In Calgary. I mean, I can understand. If this was the, an Aboriginal hockey league, I can understand fine. The they have the choice. That it's kind of an element of ha ha, we took your land psych. Like, I get that that's a sore point. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's a, it's a bit tender. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's this is the ongoing thing. Because of the, the culture of oppression and oppositional gaze theory and all this stuff, and I know I'm speaking words that you guys don't understand. See, now you're doing rude, exactly what the last but, subject was yeah, all about. But um, I think that this, in the long run, you're picking the wrong fights. Like, you know, I think it's great that a kid is deciding that they don't want to play hockey. So she's going to sit on the bench night after night, like Colin Kaepernick style, instead of finding another thing that's a better use of her time that she actually gets to play. Like she's participating, but not participating at the same time out of protest, instead of going and doing something she finds fun. And that's so, a bad act. But, but yeah, okay, but is she not now making a point though? Is what, this is not point? kind of brave for her to say, I am Pardon willing the to... pun. You I'm can't call her brave. Mm, you, eat you're cake. The one, you're the one eat arguing cake. this. You eat cake, so... Hey, Mary Antoinette. Yeah, All right. I have a uh, question. What? Can I ask a question? Yeah. If a large group of uh, Aboriginal people were to say to the head of the hockey team or whatever, whoever they need to talk to, we don't like this. We want you to take it down. We want you to change it. Do you think that their hockey team's sort of brand recognition, the whole thing of like, but this is our brand, this is our logo, this is how people know where to buy merch and come to games. Do you think they'd say, okay, you know what, you're right, we're sorry for appropriating it. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that this is a slap in the face to your culture, but we make some money off swag. Yeah. So we're not going to, come on. They I'm, can cha well, People change I'm their sorry. logos all the time. Teams change logos, they, ta they change team colors. I, I, I didn't even know that the Raptors weren't wearing purple anymore. You know, people, they change colors all the time. And what it means is that they, people have to go out now and buy all new gear because they want to have the gear that has the new logo. So don't tell me that this is some financial okay. hardship and, and again, issue. pay up. If you yeah. want to use indigenous culture, pay the bands for use of essentially the image that they and, own. Okay, but what if they say, we're not gonna license this to then you, we don't the, want then you. Then they are the copyright holder and they can say that. It's not up to a seven year old girl to fight this fight. Can oh, because who else is gonna fight it? Who uh, else is you know fighting what? it? You know what, she is seven. And the loss of innocence 
inherent in this. Seven-year-olds shouldn't be protesting. Seven-year-olds should be go digging up earthworms and cutting Barbie's hair. And playing hockey. Yeah, and, and playing, and playing yeah, hockey. Sports. Yeah, like, they shouldn't be engaged in freaking political acts of civil disobedience. Childhood is precious, and it is finite. So, and the, the, fact that they're hand like? yeah, the fact that they're handling Here's... this this way So is... she should swallow whatever something she finds offensive because of her age. No, she should remove herself from the entire thing and stop teams? being a, 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 a symbol. Well, she can't play for a different hockey team because of geographic boundaries, but I think that would be the so, solution. So Just allow her to transfer teams. The reason why I said before that that particular logo was okay is it's not because Chicago Blackhawks have had it forever. This particular logo is infringing on that Chicago Blackhawks team, but this is also a Calgary team in which that city probably has a lot of indigenous uh, people living there. Well, where is it? Is yeah, Calgary. Is the only indigenous person on this hockey team? Calgary, you don't see the same number of indigenous faces as I'm pretty sure Winnipeg. you see more than the, and then in Chicago. Well, yeah. yeah. All right. So, but, like, Winnipeg... Different, and, right? And, and Canada, it, like, still has a long way to go uh, into, like, you know, appropriating its indigenous uh, background and forthcomings, uh, but it is light years ahead of the U.S. Uh, and you know, like, are are we gonna are we gonna now say that we can't use the Raptors logo because that offends creationists? Paleontologist. Because well, yeah. it, it does, yeah, I mean, there's no actual purple dinosaurs, so, yeah. you know, this Barney. is this is offensive. No, creationists don't believe, like, they believe dinosaurs and man existed, and so this idea of dinosaurs is offensive. They believe dinosaurs existed with men. Yeah. But they coexist, like, like Land of the Lost, with little Chaka. And someone's in chat saying, by that logic, Malala should not have fought for girls' rights to education. No, because Malala had no other option. It was either go to school and get acid thrown in your face, or don't go to school at all. This is not the same as playing hockey or baseball, or playing hockey or doing here's, karate. Here's what I, don't understand. I, I was shamed out of swimming, okay, because people wouldn't stop calling me a white whale. Well, and I was awful. a kid. But I found something else to do. And you know what it taught me? What? It taught me if people don't stop being assholes, you leave the room. And I still ended up working for you, Ed. <laughs> but it allowed me to deal with things and realize you can't win every fight. And sometimes fighting that fight demeans you. It wastes your time, it wastes your energy, it, al it forces you to engage in a negative way instead of finding something that is positive. And instead of going out and like maybe starting a new league or maybe petitioning the league to let her change teams. But she shouldn't be sitting on the bench. No, that, it seems punitive. That I do not agree with at all. She should not be sitting on the bench. Yeah. If she is so offended by that image that she doesn't wear it, they should give her a blank jersey and still give her the ability to play. Yeah. This is the thing. Is she is not 18. She is not 25. Ooh. She is not 40. She is not an adult where you can say, you know what? Fucking leave. Get a job. Do whatever. Why this is, like, this, this is a kid. Okay. This is the parents Why protesting this for their parents. kid. Yeah, like, parents. Let's... But still, so it, but obvious. still, even if it is the parents, okay, this is still a kid that is signed up for this sports league with her friends and is now sitting on the bench, not actually playing or being involved, they should just give her a blank jersey with a number on it or whatever and fucking let her go out on the ice and swing a stick and, and, and let her have the exact same opportunity as everybody else. All right, let me, let me flip this around. Let me flip this around for a second. Let's stop talking about the, 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 the seven-year-old girl. Let's ask, why is it that these teams are so wedded to staying with these stupid images Especially, it's not. It's, this isn't an NHL team with tons of merchandise. Nobody's it's wild. a local no, no, team. There's, there's Why not? Like, if there's if there's, there's a problem, just change it. Why no, are they so cynical, dug in? There is a cynical reason for it because they have done market testing, and I don't agree with it. I think this fight is annoying. It frustrates everybody and brings up every time you were bullied as a kid. I'm tired of having this fight because you know I could list the number of times that I was called out for something about me. You know. I'm a person who usually is the only person in a class that looks like me. And that's been minimized because, oh, you're still white. Big deal. You know, I, I am supposed to sit there and laugh when people say, oh, you eat souls. Like, I'm well, just because it's to be able absurd, to, I yeah, guess. Yeah, but you know what? It's absurd that somebody would be offended by a profile image of a particular people. Like, I mean, God, people in hip hop culture have been working to get their names and images on, um, on t shirts, on apparel. 
That's their you know, choice, though, because right? Because they're making money for it. It's their agency. They're but the that's ones what that I'm get to do saying. that. Like, it's not white this people doing it. Fight this idea that you can even copyright the image of a type of person to begin with is part of the problem. Yes, okay, you know. But well, why is yeah, this? A, <laughs> why yeah. is this a fight right. that the the teams bother? You lo you're a local team. Just change your freaking logo. Well, I don't what? understand why they just get so stuck. Like, just change it. You're not selling a ton of merchandise. Well, just change yeah, well, here's it. It's not other, worth it. Here's the other red flag for this, okay? The, the team that the parents were apparently okay with was called the Northwest Warriors, which was another reference yeah. to First Nations people, but they had a different image used. I thought that shirt said Northwest Warriors. Well, what happened is the, the logo merged when two teams, the Northwest Warriors and the Crow Child Blackhawks, merged. So what they did is they kept the name of one team and kept the image of the other. And this is the first complaint they've ever gotten. Does that mean it's unvalid or invalid? It's not that it's not valid, but the problem with these you know, I will kneel for the national anthem type of protest, because let's face it, this is what this is. It's in this vein, right? That instead of everybody getting together and talking about this like adults, oh God, you know, this is like, let's get in a room with the parents and the team and maybe the kid, but, um, you know, have a discussion about this and figure out how to work it out. The fact that the kid is sitting there benched as a form of protest, and the fact that this has made the media is going to create a lot of negative attention for this child. And this is the well, problem. Well, they're not releasing with it. your name. It doesn't matter. In that neighborhood, they know well, who they this know family is. Yeah. And the minute something makes the press, it isn't all sweetness and roses. People get upset. This kid is being exploited because of someone's political agenda. And it may be well meaning, but she's seven years old. Right. And she is now getting the full hate of the internet because somebody decided to politicize something that was at the local level and should have been worked out behind closed doors. And that pisses me off. As somebody who is an advocate for girls, this is going to have lasting damage on this kid because she was pulled into the center of attention for something she believed in, but something that went virulently negative very, very quickly. Instead of it being something that was positive and from a positive place. And that energy, that, that how dare you, you ruined our thing, you've embarrassed us, you brought shame to your community, that kid's going to eat it. And all these people think they're fighting the good fight, but nobody cares about this kid anymore. This kid has become a symbol an instead issue. of a child. Yeah, this kid has become an issue instead of a little girl. And I have a real problem with that. Fucked up. Yeah. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Um, other topic, very briefly, is uh, what did the chat say, Anthony? Anything valid? Um... Well, there's some people that are saying, there's a Lisa in the chat that is comparing her to Malala, I which I was saying that. earlier. Mm -hmm. She's making a parallel between a seven-year-old not playing hockey and Malala. That's not, that's invalid. Got that's acid fun. thrown in her face. She's, She's not the same thing. She's seeing something that goes against her culture to standing up. A seven-year-old doesn't have the capability to understand these overreaching concepts that we're all grandstanding mm -hmm. about right now. It's yeah, but somehow a seven-year-old can probably program an iPhone faster than me. Yeah, so don't go talk, don't, don't go limiting them. Yes. Well, All right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, anything else? Uh, did, 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 um, uh, somebody wants uh, Ed to change the logo. Michael, Jalen Rose, a true Ed, change the logo. Of what? Moving on? Yeah, change the logo of, what do you want me to change the logo of? Um, what kind of stupid comment? I think someone's trolling. I think, I, I know what they should change their lo the logo to. What? There. Anana. Anana. Yeah. Anana. There's no pineapple lobby. Hey, it's totally safe. Just change it to the Northwest Ananas. Calgary Ananas. Calgary Ananas. There. That would be all right. Oh, uh, Sean Rooney says, not all Irish men wear that stupid green hat and drink into stupor. Okay, you know where this whole thing about Irish being drunks came from? Them drinking? No. Is that from a little bit further? Than where? It was a it's deliberate important. stereotype in the early days of Hollywood because the Irish back then suffered a lot of the same stereotypes that, that black men now um, labor under now. The idea that they were violent and criminal and no good and lazy and all this stuff and drunks. And so the Irish directors of the time went, okay, we'll give you the drunk part because we can turn it into a happy drunk instead of a scary drunk. 
And so they basically reclaimed the stereotype and appropriated it to make people less afraid of the Irish as an underclass. Wait, I thought that the Irish were thought of as drunks in, in, in Britain. They the, same were, way they, the, the same way the English made fun of the Scots. They were referred to as white, word I can't say on air, because it's considered really offensive back in the day. All right, all right, let's move on. Uh, and Angela Merkel got hit by uh, a couple of uh, tomatoes uh, uh, when she was uh, visiting. Uh, fart uh, button. What? Yeah, Giada's not here with the fart with button. With the fart button. Yeah. So uh, Angela Merkel, the uh, Chancellor of, of Germany, was uh, speaking and she uh, making an appearance and got hit by a couple of tomatoes. And my thought was, I, this is kind of, it's kind of heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm doing a show. Why are you yelling, man? So workplace abuse. <laughs> all right, there. She Wait, got, this is a bad one. So read the read the thing. She got pelted with tomatoes. Okay, but how rock star is Angela Merkel? Were they hot That she wore a tomato colored shirt <laughs> when they threw tomatoes at her. So it's like dirt off the shoulder, whatever. Well, it didn't actually uh, break on her. It broke on the guy next to her. But I thought this was kind of heartwarming because it's kind of nice in a nostalgic way that people are still throwing, you know, they're going back to throwing tomatoes instead of bottles of urine, which apparently is the de rigueur nowadays amongst or protesters. Shoes. Or uh, shoes or water balloons filled with urine or uh, bottles of urine. And I, quite frankly, I'm kind of impressed by water balloons filled with urine. Because how, yeah, I mean, even when you're trying to Do put the... Do you really want to know? When you're putting the spout, the thing over the spout of the, of the, the, the tap, it, it's hard to do, and that's metal. No, How they, do you? They piss in a bottles and then use the bottles to fill the balloon. But you need to actually have positive you... pressure to fill up the balloon with it. Yeah, but they use they use sweet. a bottle. They pee into a bottle. So it's got to be a few people's they... urine. Yeah, because one it's... one person's urine isn't going to fill that. Yeah, it's really. <sighs> it's, you, yeah. You got to be real angry. So that's our throwing colostomy bags. Plan like that. That to me is seek help. Rage when people are whipping urine because of the amount of pre planning. It's like, you know, first degree urine whipping as opposed to just you're drunk and you whip it out and you pee on somebody. Yeah, I think it, tomatoes, it, is a, tomatoes is a far more acceptable uh, way to go when you're protesting than covering somebody in a melange, a potpourri of urine. Mm. Um, is it time now for us to do the. Uh, to, to, to do the next uh, uh, hinterland while Max gets ready to do the uh, the pinata. Do it. I thought let's this go. was your show. You don't have to ask for permission. Uh, all right, I was speaking rhetorically again. All right, let's go to let, this is again Max doing the hinterland who's who. This time it's about bears. A grizzly bear. <laughs> Now these grizzly bears are among those animals that you surely don't want to have as a pet. Now those bears are very huge and they're and they weigh more than 400 pounds. If they get provoked, they start to attack. If they see something that's really nice, they just they just won't pick on the guy because um, that person you know seems like he's not he's not there to bother. He's, there, he's not there to bother me. I just do love be grizzly bears, only when they're stuffed. For more information about the grizzly bear, contact the Canadian Wildlife Service. We're back? All right, uh, yeah. All right. We're uh, back, and Max is just concentrating, getting his mojo together. Uh, to I know you his... didn't take the label off the pinata. Uh, okay, you ready? Well, because well, if he doesn't break it, I'm going to take is it back. Is that superstition? Like, we need to take the label off? No, I'm going to take it back if he doesn't break okay, it. Okay, hold on All a right. second. I'm, I'm coming You're over. You're going to return a pinata? Yeah, now. I'm, I'm coming over to okay. help save some stuff in case things go Yeah, forward. he's going to be a guy. So, uh, and so we can get some sound effects. Normally, people wear a mask, uh, you know, cover their eyes, but the week Max has had, I think he deserves to just beat the crap out I of something. I think so. So, no, uh, no mask. Max? Uh, you, you all ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Give it a shot. Whoa. Woo! 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 This yes. is compelling. Give her hell, bud. Wait. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. There goes the tag. Hey, got the See, tag off. That's why you take the tag off. It Can't stops it now. splitting properly. 
Oh, it's oh. down. All right, it's down. Does he get I to step on it or something? Yeah, go. Yeah, go jump on it. And step on the it. shit out of that piñata. Yeah. 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 Catharsis. Whoa, stabby. Catharsis. How do you feel, Max? Well, that made me feel better. <laughs> hey! hey! That was what I'm oh. supposed to do. All right. Yay! Good job, Max. There's and Popeye cigarettes in there. No, they're candy sticks. Candy sticks, sticks now. Yeah, yeah, they're not called cigarettes dated anymore. dated myself. Candy sticks, yeah. All right. That was excellent. Good job, good Max. Job, buddy. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, nice job. You really put some English into that. That was uh, that was good. Remind me never to cross you. Yeah, all I right. was going to say, now we know it, it, he has to, Max can bring it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, that's great. Uh, we can bust open the rest of that. Max, you want to stomp on it, get it open for us? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Get that thing open for us. Apologies to the furries watching. Yeah. Now lift it up and shake it. Don't tell him what to do. There you go, Max. Rip open that unicorn's guts. It's like Kenyatta, oh, hey. Lord of the Flies. There we go. I think it was more of an alpaca. All right. Good job. We can all participate in the. Uh, we can all participate in the candy. All right. Uh, that's. Uh, wait, don't go. We have to close the show. Come back. I want to wear it as a hat. You want to wear. All right. Now that's offensive as, to some cultures for sure. Hat. I'm going to pretend today never happened. <laughs> well, okay. This piñata. show didn't happen. Uh, like I, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and pretend that it's Thursday again. And this is like this day never happened. Groundhog Day. Yeah. No. This is like, I don't know what went on again. today. Please watch the show next week when um, it will be perhaps a, a little bit more under control. This has been a freaking circus this I week. Mean, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pack off! <laughs> what happens when you light the alpaca noise? Alpaca noise! <laughs> don't don't alpacas spit here? or something? Yeah, I kick. Too. That would be rude. They spit and kick. They spit and kick. <laughs> yeah. I can do that, but that would be unladylike. No. Ooh, suck it. I, that would be unladylike as she picks up the food off the floor to eat it. <laughs> Never said I was a lady. All right, then. <laughs> I just choked at my own alpaca spit. Okay. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. All right, well, this was something. Um, uh, please watch next week. We'll, we'll try to get it a little bit un more under control. Well, well if, as long as Max had fun, that's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, that's all that Max matters is Max. Max, did you have Max, fun? how was your birthday? It was a great birthday. Woo! Yay! Yay! And you're going to wear that hat and, with, with pride? I'm going to wear this hat with pride. All right. Because that's people are going to say to you, where'd you get that hat? Because there's like only one other it. in existence still from the old Chum City store. Wow. So I'm glad you get the Ed Puppet as well that yes. you got to enjoy. You enjoy your cake today, Max? Oh, well, the cake was wonderful. Yeah? Of course it's ass. All right. So maybe <laughs> what, would, you like, uh, would yeah. you like to take some of the cake home with you? Oh, uh, no thanks. I think uh, no cake is good enough. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and... Uh, how about a thanks to Leanna for making the cake, everybody? Thank you, Thank you Leanna. Thanks for participating in. And switching the show and doing an awesome devil's advocate. All right. Um, I'm going to close my eyes. And being an alpaca. And pretend that this never yeah. happened. Alpaca noise. Alpaca. 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 Don't give these people sugar. Alpaca. Alpaca. I'm uh, Ed the Sock. I'm nobody's puppet. Alpaca. Don't you be either. Alpaca. Unweenus. God save me. Alpaca. Unweenus. Alpaca. Alpaca. Unweenus. Alpaca. End the show.